Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, urine reveals climate change, medicated fish and reptiles in danger. Now, what do you call something that looks like a guinea pig but is related to an elephant? A rock hyrax, of course. And it appears that these strange mountain dwelling creatures may hold the secret to understanding thousands of years of climate change. Living on rocky outcrops in Africa and Asia, these creatures don't stray far from their burrows. And as generations of rock hyrax have lived in the same place, their urine has built up around the burrows, forming a kind of crust. And a team of French scientists from Montpellier University revealed that the dry wee has proven to be a highly effective way to study how climate change has affected the local area. Trapped within the built-up layers of urine are traces of pollen, leaves, grasses and even bubbles of air, revealing a 55,000 year window into the past, detailing events such as glacial retreats, meltwaters, global warming and cooling. Project leader Brian Chase added that by creating a timeline of past climate fluctuations, it would help us to understand what causes them. And he added that while some scientists might use ice cores to research this, he just uses urine. Lucky man. Now, it's hard to imagine that fish have too many problems with anxiety, but a new study reveals that thousands of them may be inadvertently on drugs such as Valium and Xanax. Scientists revealed that some Swedish waterways now contain low levels of these anti-anxiety drugs, washed into the system as they're washed out of people, and that these drugs are now turning up in fish. To test how these drugs affect fish, the researchers used perch, the same species that have been affected in the wild, and they tested their behaviour in clean, drug-free water. They then exposed them to low levels of the drugs, and according to ecologist Thomas Brodin, the effects were obvious. He revealed that the fish became more active, more social, and even took more risks when medicated. As more and more people around the world are treated with these kind of medicines, it does indicate that changes in fish behaviour could be a global problem. But for you fish eaters out there, don't worry. Drug fish eaten by humans are very unlikely to have any effect. You'd have to consume four metric tons of fish just to get one tablet's worth of the drugs. Finally, research announced this week by the Zoological Society of London reveals that many species of reptile are now in danger. The study, featuring 200 of the world's leading reptile experts, examined 1,500 different species from all over the world, revealing that 19% of them are threatened with extinction. Tropical species are particularly affected as their habitat is converted for agricultural or logging use to provide for an ever-increasing population. Many species are only found in highly specialised habitats and require exact conditions for their survival, making them especially vulnerable to environmental changes. While these results might point to a potentially bleak future for reptiles, by tackling these threats early on, researchers hope that through environment conservation, the decline of reptiles can be reversed. So that's this week's Earth Juice. To see your questions answered in Sketchosaurus, click here, and to see the very latest in Zulala, click here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. If you took the best bits from each top predator and combined them to form a supreme being, you would generate the ultimate pin-up poster animal. And that's just what I want to do. I want to make the ultimate monster mashup from some of people's favourite animals.